career game on Belveth for Weiwei. So first time bringing it out in a world semifinal. Chris again, sticking with those enchanters, does go towards the Milio. And won't be able to, you know, grab something that oh, is really yet. Level one could get spicy and get spicy quick. The Shy's gonna be found there with the ward in the brush. Now Weiwei and Xiao Hu need to try to get out of here. Flame Spitter from the Shy, just buying a little bit of extra time for his teammates to continue the long way home. But the Flash Q3 and the Shy's in trouble. He drops down the Ignite, but what's it gonna do? On continues the chase as the Shy flashes out. He may be able to survive here. On gonna continue after him. The Shy, he doesn't die, but his lane's in a real quick, so Weibo should know what's going on. I really want to see if Finn can actually hold that wave off the turret, though, because he TP back and the Shy had no buy. Immediate flash engage coming out from on as Crisp is forced to flash away. He's nearly killed, but he keeps himself alive just a little bit longer. It's first blood back over to the Jun's portraits. That's your levels, and you can see how far ahead Weiwei is. Plus, he's going to be able to go in onto this topside, take Raptors, zone bin off of this Weiwei Wei hovering. Shun is available. Yeah, Shun recalling nearby, but Weiwei's gonna dash forward. As you can see, Shun now coming in to reinforce Bin, but he's burning, burning, burning up the equalizer over the top. And the Shun. Totally like Rumble, you wanna rush towards it, but there's an AD carry, you know, jungler style here. Weiwei gonna be engaged on here as Shun goes in. The Vioth, he leads the charge, but now in the back line, they're still keeping him alive. Weiwei getting away. He makes his way to the blast cone, and Weiwei survives the counterattack. Where's it at from Weibo? They're not gonna get anything back for it, but the fact that there's no kill for BLG was huge. Now Xiao Hu's coming in, looking to lock down Yagao. He tries to get away. Scan of the weekend, gonna work the shot, flashes over, and he burns him all. And you can see he's feeling oh, good he's about that it. one. Oh, it's going again, it's okay. going again! We're not done, Bin! Falls in the 1v1, the shot rumble. Like, even set behind early from the level one, he's popping off again. And I mean, this is... Advantage for the side of Weibo, the Drakes are tied. Weiwei's working on the second Rift Herald of the game here. As soon as it spawns, Weibo's gonna be oh taking down as the Shy just picks up another one. This man is on a mission today. Yeah, on to off real quick. The Shy finds him. And it's just nice positioning there, right? You can see, hey, look, we are trading that Rift Herald on topside. Let's get the vision. It's your standard play for the support, but not in the jungle. And they're not having a top laner. Off Blossom lands. They tie him up in the tangle barbs, and Weiwei's ready to bring him down. Yeah, and this is tough, man. I don't even think you win these 2v1s. He's going to go ahead, drop the equalizer to zone you away. Turns on the flame spitter as Shun goes in for the ulti. They try to wombo combo him down, and the shutdown goes over to Yagao. But what about the counterpunch? Many of Weibo's, or not Weibo's, excuse me, BLG's wins feel like they come out of big performances from Bin, but he's just locked out of the game this time as the equalizer lands on Yagao. Weiwei's not gonna close the gap in time to make anything else happen, but they force their opponents back. It's Weibo using the Herald here in the bottom lane to force down that tier one turret. On gets thrown up in the air, the Pop Blossom's ready to make sure it gets done. And Xiao Hu picks up his first kill of the game. Seven to two here, 18 and a half minutes in. You play with fire, you're gonna get burned, and On learns it once again as they get that charge off, and Weibo will back it out. But it is Shun on that top side, the split pushing Vi taking down a top tower. <laughs> yeah. Man is on a mission to get some gold back, but this is looking terrible for BLG. Here, look, if your top laner doesn't have a, a Divine Sunder, you might as well bring it yourself up <laughs> to that top lane. So at least getting the Sheen procs on the tower gets something, but you've already got push, you get to fall back, drag it in 30 seconds. You can't do anything. Yeah. Sean thought he was going to wrap around, maybe look for some sort of a pincer attack, but there's nothing to be found. The Shy's left alone here in the bottom lane. He will pick up the tier two. Through without having to face an Eastern team, we have the opportunity to play our style and bring out. So some... Weibo's just going to walk this one back away. They're not so far ahead, they can just hard force Baron, so they don't want to throw the game. Shun now in danger, knocked up into the air, equalizer over the top. Shun is down, and Weiwei's the one to put him there. Sees them a little, so they want to get into the pit, try and get into the river, and as you get BLG coming through, they pull off, they immediately attack the people from BLG who are overextended, and that game... You can see that Chao was pushing out top wave, but now he's going to move over towards mid, because they're nervous oh, about the pit, but the equalizers are insane. Elk having to pop the LT here with the very start, now flashing away to survive, and Flight goes in, aggressively to Take out the enemy AD carry. On's gonna get burned up next to Shao, who pops the pop blossom defensively, and Ben's health bar's gonna drop next. The Shy leads the charge, and Shun heads right back into the base. Only he and Yagal still stand as Weibo pick up three for free. Weibo are absolutely unleashed today, crushing through BLG, giving him no room to breathe at any turn. They're looking for more. Wait, wait, with a flash engage, the knockup on Yagal, and the Shy gets him with the flame spitter to finish the 
job. Shun's back underneath those Nexus turrets. They still have the entire rest of the team dead, only on just now respawning as the bottom lane inhibitor turret is broken. The inhibitor now under pressure as the same story gets told mid. Weibo still have their push going strong. Xiao Hu has rotated up into the top lane to get the last remaining lane from Weibo. And I mean, the fact you're getting the shy crushing bin in that top side, you got you left him hanging. <laughs> you got like <laughs> he's completely fine in that bot side. It feels like for Weibo, you're in a great spot. And oh, not gonna find Bin yet. Yeah, Bin's gonna be in some trouble here. The shy has backup from Chris. The Maul's gonna keep Ben alive for an extra second, but as soon as that flame spitter comes back up, Xiao Hu makes his rotation over the shot. Oh, you really can't. There's not much you can do here. I mean, the only reason it was really close is because it was all AP, but they're going for a pick. Crisp is the target, and they already got him. It cost a lot of ulties to do it. So Weibo now might look for something, despite the fact that they've immediately lost a man. Their teams like JDG, they are monsters, and they want to finish this. TP is coming in as Shun tries to engage on Xiao Hu. It immediately goes golden to get himself away. Flashing right back out of the scan of the week, as now Weibo He's coming in from the side. A lot of damage back onto Shun, and he's gonna die to Chao Hu. Light now free firing back onto On, who engages without support from the rest of the team. Weiwei is gonna do the same, but Weiwei is fed, and BLG's dead. Ben can't get out. Light's gonna put him in the ground. Weiwei jumps in over the wall. Elk is the last man standing, but he's Zaya without an ulti. It's gonna be a hard job to get away from this when he tries to do it, but Weiwei's got a lot of damage resistance. Waymo, get it done. Game number one. It's a stomp here in the semifinals, and they're going to start this series off strong. Waymo want to tell a different story here today. And really make things difficult, and it will get locked in. I think as well, when you've already got a triple melee so top side for BLG, it, the Aatrox works perfectly there because you get so much value from your Roy Drinker. You get so much Focus value. in the 2v2 before the third man arrives to make it so the play has to fizzle. Yeah, Chris stepped up so early and took so much damage from the BLG bot lane. The Shy should live. We'll see. The Shy just Whoa. got solo killed for first blood. Bin will die to the turret afterwards. You can see Xiao Hu even rotating up into the top side to help him out with this. Let's see, Wei Wei and the Shy. How are they gonna get it done? The Shy's gonna take the aggro here at the start with the World Ender. Counter strikes back up. Bin survives for the time being, but now Xiao Hu's coming through. Bin falls, and the Shy gets the money. And as we were talking about earlier, comparing the Shy's Aatrox to other ones, never mind. We got a dive coming out here in the mid lane. They don't even need to dive them, they throw them back away from the. The Shy is coming. Yup, the thing is, Xiao Hu can't join up with the TP. They do find the chains of corruption here at the bottom lane, but now the Shy's ready to go and jump in on the fight. Weiwei getting back away, but now Bin's trying to bring him down. Shun's gonna be super low here too. Bin grabs the kill on Weiwei as they still can't kill Shun yet. The Shy finally picks it up, and now Xiao Hu's ready to help his top laner try to turn it around. But Yagao's made his way into the fight. He won't find the Skanda Duck. The Shy sidesteps, and Bin's ready for the counter strike yet again. Arrow from across the map, but it goes between the uprights. Because Yago had to cover topside, but we're gonna be looking at Ocean Dragon as BLG. Ooh. Oh, LG throwing out the engage, and they immediately find the pick under Crisp. Bot lane dominance, way, way up towards this top side. Shun's here as well, though. Yeah, Shun just jumps over the wall. We're going to get two different 1v1s. So the Maokai ulti comes back up into the top lane, and now Vin's going to be the focus here for the very start. Vi ulti trying to buy enough time for the Jax, but it won't work. Arrow comes in from downtown. Way fires off the ulti from all the way back in his own jungle. Elk's going to tank the first one of those. Vin steps up for the counter strike. Immediate stun and immediate disengage. They don't want to allow the shot to put that lead back into the bottom lane. Weiwei's the target, and BLG hit the mark. They're gonna follow it up with a stolen Maokai ulti as Shun's ready to engage with the Vault Breaker. Everfrost locks him down. BLG's going to town. The turret might get one back, but not quite yet. They almost get Shun away, but they'll trade him for Xiao Hu nonetheless. First turret's gonna follow, and BLG come up huge. BLG! Way, but he found nothing. Meanwhile, back on live, Crisp is dead. Elk on a killing spree, 3-0. Zero and two here on the Varus. And this is where BLG are going with to... Ash's hawk shot, the ability to track everybody on top of it. Their control over the rift is going to be supreme. We're trying to move through these like entrances in towards River, where there's an Asho or a Fire Assault, the Yaka are in the corner. Yeah, the Shy's coming in. This is the power point for Weibo. This is the guy they want to try to play around. Beautiful stun out of Xiao Hu as he tries to take the blast cone over the wall. Azir ulties fly back and forth as Xiao Hu goes into the stasis, but he will not survive. Yagao takes the kill as the Shy spreads his wings, but the World Ender runs out. Team, if they want to try to find any sort of way to come back. 
Well, the Shy goes in for Shun here, but that could be a problem because Yagao is also nearby. He steals away the World Ender, and now he's ready to show the Shy how it's done. Shun gets the... Which is really where you pop off this Aatrox, and as well as the immense control that BLG have on the map. There's no more... At this point, all Weibo can do is just try to get as powerful as possible for that inevitable fourth Dragon fight and hope they can turn around something now. Well, they're going to try to turn it on Bin. Shao Hu has his two-item power spike. The Aatrox of the Shy doing the same. Bin's not long for this world. The Jax, again, it's been a rough game, a rough couple of games so far for that up to stop that engage. But yeah, that's the big marker. That Dragon Soul that's going to be coming up soon as Shun comes into the mid lane and things go from bad to worse for the Baron here. They see that Shao Hu's on bot side, so at least I think you want to force out the TP from Shao Hu. So you start hitting the Baron, potentially, see if you can make him actually TP up, and then maybe you just pull off, or then maybe you look for the turn. But it's not the fast Baron. It is is lethality AD carry here. This is not going to go down quickly, so Weibo don't need to panic. All right, we're bringing in the TP. They're getting low Finn's in the bin. ready this to join up here. On has taken a lot of damage for the Baron. Elk has taken a lot of damage for the Baron. The Shy's ready to fight these guys back as Yagao is down to 25% HP. Weibo leads the charge with the arrow back over the wall, coming in to support. Weibo will stop him here. BLG. Fourth. The arrow misses from On's Ash, and that means it's an opportunity for Weibo to look for something, but they're not going to get it here just yet. Shun disengaging as the Chains of Corruption fly out. Now ready to re-engage back with the Shy. He'll get stunned up with the Counter-Strike. The Shy is down, and BLG got this. And Elk taking free shots. Chris is low alongside Weiwei. Wei. The Varus and Ash, the two archers, just riddling these guys with arrows. Elk again with a piercing Bing. arrow over the wall. Bin coming in from behind. Weiwei wants to jump in, but the Maokai's just gonna get chopped. Bin's ready to bring it in as they have to disengage once more on Weibo's side. Summoner spells are down for light. Crisp is nearly dead too. Shao Hu's got no HP. Infernal Soul to BLG. Flash over the wall from Elk. A rampage. And that's the thing. The World Ender amplifies your healing, but you actually don't get the Gore Drinker off in time. And BLG off the back of Dragon get Baron as. This is such a difficult situation for the side of Weibo. You can even see the Sorcery Elixir in Shao Hu's. Gonna throw out that all. He just zoned them off the tower. Exactly. They've already got the cannon minions with the Baron buff. They're trying to get the opportunity to go in. But now a nice shuffle from Shao Hu. They're finally going to get the kill. Elk takes one with them as he dies. The Shy fighting Finn off to the side. The shutdown credit went back over to the Caitlyn. But Shao Hu dies right after Yagao goes in a rampage. Blast Cone gets shut away for safety. It's a two for one trade. BLG still come out on top. But they're still trying to push here too. On is hurt. The siege it might be broken though, unless Bin can make it happen. The Shy here with the front line, locked down. Sterex keeps him alive for an extra second. He's still trying to walk away, but Bin gets him. Counter Strike flash forward into the double kill. Light tries to run away, but Bin is not done yet. Counter Strike still ready to go. He jumps back in for the triple kill. ELG bounce back in game number two. Crisp is alive, but it's a Lux against the whole team. Shun forces him to flash back into the fountain now as BLG continue their push. They've only got a couple of minions, but the next wave is one more chance. Every single game, the top laner that falls behind early suddenly bounces back and has this miraculous recovery, but hang on. Xiao Hu going in, seeing if he might be able to pick off these stragglers. Yigao wanted to punish him for it. But it's going to be what everyone is looking towards. That is up in two minutes here, and Xiao Hu in trouble. Xiao Hu, he made the pick earlier. He gets picked now. Shun finding Xiao Hu, and the flash is going to be coming back up for Elk, so that job becomes that much more difficult. BLG just pushing, knock down the tower, and meanwhile, Bin pushing up that top lane. And they have Yagao shoving in the bot lane as well. They are looking to deal lethal damage. No Baron required. The Shy has to fall back behind the only remaining Nexus turret now. It's barely standing, and BLG are keeping the push alive. The Maokai ulti finally summoned up for Weiwei, as they'll be able to force the retreat from BLG, if only for a moment. Elk and Shun stepping out of the way of the laser, as Elk tries to escape the Shy, but the Q3 Gore Drinker gets some kill credit going over to Weiwei. That's a big shutdown, as Bin falls too. It's too dead on the side of BLG, and Weibo might have found their chance. Fall bringing to disengage, on trying to escape for the Aatrox, for the Infernal Chains, bring the pain! Shin is just pushing the wave right he now. He dies, this is bad. He might just try to disengage it. What is going on? This is a mess. 
Finn will spend as much of their time as he can. Counter strike Elder. to buy some time while the rest of the team goes after the Elder. Finn with his own use hourglass to escape the ace in the hole. Weiwei's trying to go in and steal away the Elder Drake. They're gonna kill him instead. Shun goes into Rampage, killing him. It's traded back away for Finn, but the Elder goes over to the remaining four players of BLG. It is a 4v4 for the next 45 seconds as Weibo will head back into the base and BLG continue the push. But it's the Elder Dragon, and you've got the opportunity now for BLG because that Nexus turn is so low. They can actually look to push forward on this. That play from Bin might have dragged Weibo away from the win con. Laser fired off. They're trying to buy enough time to survive here. That Elder Drake is so ferocious. Light takes a little bit of damage. The arrow spam's gonna come through. Maokai ulti lands. The Shy's your first target. Derek's ain't gonna save him. The Elder Dragon finds its first victim. Sharima Shuffle won't do it anyway. BLG will find the win, find the Nexus, and find their first game of the series. We're just oh, not killing God. the Poppy. There's just no way Poppy's gonna die this game. I feel like Weibo slammed them in draft. I, I'm gonna be interested to see how this works out, but if Ye Gao does not go absolutely crazy or Bin doesn't go absolutely crazy, right. immediately kill that dragon on spawn, which they are gonna be able to do. This really does put you off to the races. It's so difficult to contest. Full five, Weibo's full five. Keeper's verdict, looking to make the ejection, but Elk with a save on on. Weiwei jumps into the middle. He's stolen away the Rift Herald. Ye Gao wants to find him and get something back as Bin goes into the back line, but it's first blood over to Ye Gao. BLG might lose their mid laner now in response. Ye Gao also moving in here. They're worried Weiwei will try and use this Rift Herald on the bottom side to actually be in a position to take plates for the barracks. We have to look up at the top lane CS. Stormraiser are off, and you're probably going to kill that guy, but at the same time, there is Graves, there's Syndra, there's 280 carries in the bot lane. So if you're all focusing down on one target... The steadfast Presence would have blocked the Umbral Dash. Yagal's rotated up, but it's way anything. too late. The Tier 2 turret's already down. Nice moves from Weibo. Walks yeah. up very confidently with no ulti, loses his flash, and wastes the timing on the roam because then Yagao has spent that time for nothing. With Bin that low, he can't go in. Caitlyn, Weibo know that they would be 4v5 in this. The Shy is their strongest dude, and he's on the other side of the rift. So this should be Drake traded away for Harold. Weibo again, continuing along this line of flood your team with as much gold as you can get, using the Rift Herald immediately here in the mid lane. Wanted to crack the Tier 1 turret, but BLG is stepping up. The Tier 1's gonna fall. Scatter the Weak misses. Now Yagao's ready to go in. He drops the smoke. They try to engage, but Weiwei's doing a great job stopping him. He immediately kills off Shun as Weibo try to regroup. Finish it off. They'll be able to keep this pressure up, though. Bin coming in over the wall will be spotted, but honestly, for the moment, with Weibo positioned like this, Weibo in the front, it's not impossible for BLG to get in, especially Yago has no flash, has to use the stun. The engage coming out from the buy as Shun just immediately gets shut down, but they will trade him away for Weiwei. Both junglers out of the picture, but... Weibo has been placed down, but Weiwei is always going to be the guy eating the cupcake. Ocean Drake started up, a little bit of poke coming out as On loses half HP. Yagao posing a threat here from the side, wants to try to distract him long enough here for the Drake to be claimed by the rest of the team, but Shun's finally going to be killed. Weiwei's in the pit, light kills off Shun, the Drake will be claimed by Weibo, and the fight's still going. Bin wants to fight back, but he ain't going to find anybody here just yet. Ocean Drake over to Weibo finally, as Weiwei goes in for the tackle on Dawn, but he won't get him as he goes back over the wall, and now Yagao having to run from the Shy. It's a 12 gauge goodbye! And the quick. We'll see if BLG can get here in time. BLG trying to close the distance of this objective, but Chris picks that one up. Baron over to Wave. And what a sick composition for Weibo to come out with in game number three. Ton of squishies, Weiwei has to play front line, but this guy's been so insanely good on the poppy, and you'll see it here again. Yago tries to threaten the Shy, forces him back into river, but Weiwei then steps up, and Weiwei's going again! We're already back into live as the Callista ulti is going to be used to save on. Elk kiting back, trying to get the distance here. The Shy's ulti doesn't have the damage there to kill off the BLG AD carry. But remember that Bin's still dead for another 10 seconds. The Enchanted Crystal Arrow has found Yagao, the follow-up C. CC, Scout of the Week, and Yagao is the one who eats another face full of Ox shot. The Shy absolutely dominating this game here in the grave. And there's just nothing standing between them and the base now. Weibo pushing down mid, getting closer and closer to pushing this series towards match point. BLG have got no answer. Right as Bin comes back to life, Yagao gets picked off. 
and it feels like BLG just has not been able to regain how desperate they looked trying to take the tier one on boss and now they need to try and defend the tier two but it's gone here's the TP though this is gonna be the final fight I think potentially all right Yagal needs to find a massive angle here as immediately it's like getting engaged on with a vi ulti followed up from the damage with Yagal Wei Wei now trying to get away but Bin leads the charge here in the A truck Shun can't keep chasing any further Chris trying to escape the Akali but he can't do it quite yet Bin has no damage has no chance has no right to be there in that bottom lane when Weibo's this far ahead. The Shy is styling on the bin, and that is not a sentence that I expected to say coming into this series today. 5 and 0 oh on the Graves. He decimates the back line. He's decimating the base, and he's pushing Weibo further and further forward. He is completely unstopped. When the power of Weibo is so far past what they've got, BLG forced back into their own jungle. Control over the bot side, River for Weibo. Control over the Drake for Weibo. Yagawa and on trying to come in as Shun's going to be stopped. The Stead fast presence they knock him right back in the pit bin's been killed by chris pop left the shy goes in on gets saved for a moment but now elk could pay the price the shy continuing the chase with way way right behind him as you went in the back looking for life but the akali has no damage he can't get the assassination it's the drake the TP. it's two kills the a TP. tp up into the base they do not want to stop yet the two-man tp on should drop here next Xiao who hits him with the orb Weibo, the game three draft Three different marksmen, one frontliner, and a 13 to 4. Absolute obliteration of BLG. Weibo, move on to match point. And one game away from reaching. Waiting for them, Number of two. the Jacks, of that Sejuani as well. But the bot lane 2v2 is going to be the real question for me. You know, I can see how BLG could dominate later on potentially. But the, because he didn't have any info on where Weiwei was. So it's definitely a tough spot now for Bin. Spends that TP, is walking back, and we'll see if he can fix it as they're taking Dragon. They're taking Dragon, but Weiwei's at half HP. Yagal's rotating over. Shun ready to come in over the wall. Weiwei should drop here. The flash has already been used. He wants to try to re-engage, but they have the damage to bring him down. First blood money goes over to Elk. And now Chris has to try to flash to get away over the wall. Shun's in hot pursuit, and he needs a little bit more for the CC. The Heimerdinger is stunned up and gunned down. Elk gets the first two kills. Flash, the follow is there from Shun. And I think it's worth it that stage, right? Again, Dragon stack is a big core to call here for yeah. BLG and now topside. Oh, Bin's going in. The Shy tries to get away from it. He'll survive the all-in attempt. He, he knows he can't go much further than just those couple of auto attacks here for the follow-up. As on wants to go on a magical journey. He takes a lot of damage, but he gets away in time. Light down to 400 HP, too, as Elk has the red-white guns. No and Crisp has no flash. Elk just follows him through the tunnel. And call it off. Crisp, though, still stepping up. Doesn't have flash. They know that. Shun, nice aim on the Sejuani ult. He's going to lock down Crisp. And Yagao gets the kill. Money for the carries. BLG finding it four times in the first 10 minutes. Nicely done. And that plate that just went down mid, I don't think anyone was actually in range to get it, but Elk potentially in trouble. Yeah, Elk had to pop the cleanse already, trying to get away from Light. Now flashing to try to escape Xiao Hu. The follow-up, the unleashed power. Xiao Hu gets a big shutdown, but it'll cost his life to get it done. Yagao should be the one picking up the money here, and BLG makes it an even trade. Good. They had full control over. Yeah, exactly. It gets really, really tough, you know, and Leaf, Leaf Strike right now, seven second cooldown. Quinn E, the 10 second cooldown, but as you get more serious, because it's like, great, you vaulted his Q, <laughs> and then he queued you again. <laughs> And I think a large portion of that is the fact that the bot lane isn't going the way it should for Light and Crisp. The early dragon fight really caught the shy out, and this is going to catch him as well. Yep, Yagal's coming up to try to get the punish here on the Quinn. As Bin jumps in for a little bit more. Shockwave, nice moves from the shy, but he ain't nice enough. I mean, Yagao is quietly having a really good game. That oh, TP yeah. down towards bot side to punish Xiaohu. Now a TP up towards top side to help Bin. Shun has been, you know, less active than his mid laner, it feels like. You know, Yagao has kind of been everywhere. Those early kills that got Elk going really, I think, made this game so difficult for Weibo. It's this mid tier one as well, if Weibo were to start up the Herald. But On is here to help. Oh, they find the Tempered Fate. On getting in position. Immediate Sejuani ulti over the wall. The Shy just gets punished. Huge moves coming out for BLG. It's going to set Bin up to be able to take out this tier two turret. That's the enemy top laner down. That's so much of that mobility around the map removed. It's given the Nivea vibes for the top laner at the moment, <laughs> but it mid. Oh, nice shutdown coming out for Weibo. 
It's Shao. And if you don't have that, you're just dead. I don't think there's really much of an ability for them to kind of protect and keep people away. Ooh, Ooh. tempered thing. Meanwhile, the Rift Herald summoned up in mid lane. Unlike the first one, this one's going to get the charge. Tier 1 turret finally breaks. And Gao was pushing bot lane, and now they're going to TP on the Shy. The Shy's the target. Magical Journey coming out for On as they immediately arrive with a TP from Yagao. No way out for the Quinn. The arrow comes in from a long way. But for BLG, just give the opportunity to go for a uh, dragon here and get something as well. So and for Wei Force Wave will come in and then look for picks. I think it's also been a great performance from On as okay, there we go. Shaohoon already gets the same treatment. But here comes the handsome support. It's flash for flash, and Shao Hu's gone. On shame in the semifinals to see if he can take down Weibo here. Weibo feel like they gotta do something. The Baron's already down to 5,000 HP. Vin's coming in, goes for the stun. Weiwei's found out immediately. Tempered fate to lock down the enemy jungler. Said 20 ult, he's not gonna hit a target. Weiwei still being focused. Elk grabs the kill on him as Vin's going in, looking to chase the Shy all the way up. But Shao who's about to respawn, and he has TP once he does. Right back under the Baron, go BLG, as On could be in some trouble. He tries to get away from the Harrier procs, but he has to go on a magical journey to do it. BLG are losing HP, and now they have to continue to disengage. Light taking a lot of Damage from Yagao. He pops the claims, but Yagao dunks him with the ball. Now On might finally die here in the back line, but not quite yet. The Shy will drop instead, and Elk's coming to join the party. BLG only lose their support. And, ben, and BLG onto the Baron here. Bin gonna be zoning out way, way. There's no way in. Yep, it might be full HP versus 20% HP, but Jax versus Roush. That's gonna favor Jax every single time. Hit him with the helicopter and take the Baron as the prize. BLG are primed to win this game. There was no other way to down, but not without getting a huge play for the team. Also, massive aftershock proc coming in from Shun at the end, right as the ultimate from Xiaohu came out. Got the nice. and now BLG. You just get to push in, you get to play the game as you want. This has been the, in an, a lot of poke-heavy comps. This one not so poke-heavy for BLG, but who knows if it's even going to last that long. They have the Baron, they're pushing in, and there's not really any recourse for Weibo. The Shy had to use the Gale Force to get away from the Tempered Fate. Mid lane, tier 3 turret already gone. The one in bottom under a lot of pressure. Weibo trying to find any sort of a chance to punish these guys. On again, just so slippery on the Bard. Impossible for them to lock this guy down. One death so far the entire game as the Shy gets caught jumping in out of the base gate. Immediately followed up with a Sejuani ulti. The damage over the wall from Elk is enough. It's a 5v4 and BLG is kicking in the door against Weibo. The damage on life is enough with the Shockwave and that should do it. Two more down, two left to go. BLG wants Silver Scrapes, and they're gonna take it right here. Chris and Xiaohu can do nothing to defend. The Nexus turrets are reduced to dust, and we are going the distance. It's time for game five. There was no other way that this- From super crazy bot lanes to hyperscaling top laners and aggressive stuff, and then we're just going full circle into tank tops, scaling mids, you know, like it's kind of- This is a massive pick for the Shy, though. The Shy is said he get a little bit of a less preferential base, but Shun gets to steal the camp for free, and he could look for his ear. Well, been with a nice little knockback under the Shy, but unfortunately he doesn't just have a lot on of his ear left yeah. to work with. Now hold on, Xiao, who in some trouble here? Gets stunned up. Yagao following up with the damage, and now the chase gets paid its first blood over to Yagao. Meanwhile, back in the bottom lane, the 2v2 breaks out. On's in some trouble. So much damage pours in, and light pierces his heart. Also being a champion who has an aggro drop in his twisted advance to further facilitate those dives, and here they go. On throws out the binding, but it's not going to be enough just yet. Elk uses the cleanse, but he's not the target just yet. On having a flash, but he still dies. Elk's going to be hunted down, and light gets a double. Oh. They know they need to start knocking down towers. They need to get out of that 2v2. But this took a lot for them to get. And the Callista farmed so many plays down on bot side. And that's the thing, because you've now got Light, who's in such a good position after getting the game here for themselves. And it doesn't look like BLG's got anything to respond to it with. I mean, how do you respond to the boot? That's why Weibo are starting this up. They will lose bot tower, but honestly, you're kind of doing what you need to here as BLG. You avoid the fight, you still get it. But of course, you still then have to be getting that past all those frontliners. Okay, nicely done from Bin. He waited for the Bellows' breath so the Shy would not be able to immune the ulti, but now he's looking to keep this going. He goes unstoppable again. Flashback over the wall from the Shy. Q3 comes out from Bin. He doesn't have enough damage just quite yet, but the Cassante!
takes him down. It's a solo kill for Bin. It's a dash, bash, dash, bash, but Bin is able to come out on top. And now, with that struggle, they're coming in for mid lane as well. They go for the Maokaioti. They find Shun here in the front as they follow it up with a hostile takeover. On's going to be the first kill. And Weibo are looking for more. They chase after the Sejuani, who does not have his Arctic armor or the Aftershock any longer. But they won't find anything else. Xiao Hu still potentially looking here. He has the ulti available, way, way down to half HP. But they got to be careful on the other side, too. Shun also half health from the Sejuani. Light on the Kalista, leading the minions down the mid lane to take out the tier one turret and bring this Light, game. But it was never going to be enough to get a kill. Meanwhile, back to live. The Shy is the target yet again. It's a three man collapse. Make it four with a TP. Yagao goes to the skies. The Shy goes to the dirt. And BLG for the rest of it. You still don't have the fully evolved Muramana for Yagao's Jace. Lux Laser flies out and finds light, but that's it. Sejuani ultimate goes right between two. As now the Maokai ulti is waiting for the counter attack and Vin TPs into the middle. The Shy's not going to find his engage here yet. Hostile takeover hits the Cassante. And meanwhile, the Orn Horn flies over the top. Binding almost finds light, but not quite. Yet the shy's here tanking up in the front, but he's gonna die. Elk gets the kill, and the shuffle tries to buy a little bit more time. Chris is gonna be shot through the head as on kites light away. A double kill back over to Elk, and now it's BLG crushing Weibo. Yagao with an accelerated shock blast, and he'll cut down the tree. Xiao Hu at least takes Bim, and he might get a second. The Emperor of Shariba will die before the third as Elk takes light out of the picture. Coming in from all angles, knocking down the Shy early. Being old right where you need it. Right back into live, right back into a fight. Maokai ulti flies out, and Shun's under a lot of pressure. The damage flies into the Sejuani, and he dies as hostile takeover finds it out. He shuffled back into Weibo. Massive shutdown over the light. Weibo just found Elk, and they're onto the Baron. Baron started up, 5v3. Bin, Elk, Wei and Wei's On low. have to try to pull off the defense. The Shy down to 10% HP. Weiwei is going to be taken low too. Bin stoning the rest out as the Shy will finally fall. Kalista with a ton of spears into the Baron as Elk is under pressure from Chao Hu. Bin is all out, but he's only one man. He goes back in and he finds a kill, but it's still Baron over to Weibo. It's still Bin about to go back over to Weibo. It's Weibo all day. They've been doubted. They've been called frauds. They haven't beaten the Eastern team. They haven't played the top competition. Their time in the tournament is over. Well, here they are. To cash in on the extra time they bought themselves in taking the last Drake. They will surrender this one without a fight over to Weibo. Weibo moves Shy is bottom. There's no teleport available for the Orn. And Maokai still has no ulti. Weiwei's the target. They got to try to keep him away. The Kasante focusing the enemy jungler, going all out to take him all the way to the other side of the jungle. Bin will likely die for this, but they get the Baron on the side of BLG. Weibo, get they won't get anything. Well, they did TP mid, so they're going to keep pushing. So now they're going to try to draw them out towards mid lane. They have full mid lane prio. If you don't bet back for this, you're going to lose a lot. The Shy has already lost a lot. He's already lost two thirds of his HP. Shun staying after him, finds the slow, but no about half. Some ulti still spent. Light does not have Kalista ulti ready to use here in this fight. Weiwei is going to get jumped on. Bin goes in. He's all out. He takes the enemy jungler away back over the wall, but he escapes into the sun disc. The Lux ulti comes over the top, and Bin is unstoppable. But what about the fight back in the Drake pit? The handshake onto Shun, who flashes away to stay alive. The dragon the is over secured. It's stolen away. Callista of Light manages to steal the soul as Yagao wants to turn around, but he can't do it. Light gives him up on his R2. It's a double kill back over to the Callista as Xiao Hu kills Bin. It is so many dead on BLG. It's Light who secures it, but it's Chris with the hostile takeover that pushes Shun out, that buys the space for Light to secure it, and it's Weibo on the march. How much can they get? Elk is up. The reset from on. It's four versus two. The bot lane for BLG needs to make the miracle hold. It's 15 seconds on Shun. It's Caitlyn Lux against everything. The minions are still coming. The Shy taking a little bit of damage here. They're going to be stunned up. No damage enough just yet. Finally, the Shy's going to drop on an Elk. Still holding on. A little bit more damage from the Luxie. Handshake back at Elk, but he ain't going to die just yet. Shun comes in, but he will not find the Elk connection. Running. They're still getting away. Xiao Hu, the ace in the hole comes through, but Chris does a good job blocking it. Shun still chasing. Light is down. Chris, but Xiao Hu running away. He's coming in. 
Yagao wants some. Accelerated Shot Blast doesn't hit, but Crisp is slow. Renata doesn't get away from these. Bailout's not gonna bail anything just yet. And Yagao with a counter punch. PLG have to push and they have to try to do something right now. They can't afford to let anyone get away because the soul is gonna be there for good, but they have no wave. It doesn't look like they're gonna be able to get anything really much off this. Now they're going down mid. They can't stop the Azir, so he'll get back to base. And Yagao is not with the team, does not have TP, so it's just... We, we gotta get back to live here. The chase obviously goes on a little bit longer. We know Yagao comes in and kills Crisp. The dance in the mid lane continues as the coaches have to be on their edge of their seats for either side. Or Orange summoned. Light Binding's not gonna block anybody. Instead, they're just gonna collapse it on his dead. Hostile takeover locks down Shun. It's two kills back over to Weibo. BLG is on the run. That's it. And Weibo is on the victory march. They're gonna push here. They're gonna go for it. Weibo have the Nexus in their sights. The super team needed to come alive at semi-finals is where they look to do us. BLG, 3v5. It would take more than a miracle to hold them off here. Ben with a handshake back into the team. He's not going to live through this one. Xiao Hu throws out their soldiers, and Yagao loses Guardian Angel. Ben trying to find a little bit of damage onto the shot, but it ain't going to be enough. As Elf tries to go forward with a 90 caliber net, but it doesn't matter. It won't do a damn thing. Weibo, through all the doubt, through all the disbelief, will earn their place in the finals. The haters!